Hey everyone and welcome back. In this video I will show you how I have implemented a notification system for my full stack app which is called Descent Debates. A very important concept that this notification system is based upon is uh, the concept of server sent events. And uh, if you're not aware of what they are, it's essentially sort of like a WebSocket connection in the sense that uh, the connection will persist, will be kept alive until one of the parties decides to end that connection. However, the difference is that um, as opposed to a WebSocket connection, a, a server sent events connection will allow only one of the parties to send data periodically. In this case, the client will subscribe sort of uh, to the uh, server and the server will send data periodically to the client whenever certain events occur in the app. So basically that is the entire reason as to why server sent events were chosen for this uh, concrete scenario. Now let's quickly see um, this in action. So I'm, um, I have logged in as, an, uh, as a normal user. And now what I will do is to uh, propose a debate. Let's say um, just a debate. I'm going to select a tag, I'm going to submit and at this point the debate won't be visible immediately into the app. First it will be converted into a ticket and uh, this ticket will have to be reviewed uh, by a moderator. And at the end if the moderator decides that everything is alright with that ticket it will eventually accept it and uh, in this case uh, the debate will be visible among the other debates. Now let's see, um, so now a ticket has been created, let's see what uh, this means for a moderator. So I'm going to log in as a moderator and as you can probably see already there is um, one unread notification here uh, and this is the board of all the pending tickets that have been created. Um, now I'll have to decide or to find out which debate was yeah, this one. Anyway, so let's see what the notification looks like. And it says that uh, a new debate has been proposed. And uh, it um, also provides us with a link, which isn't very useful right now because in a very happy scenario, by clicking on this, sort of um, the app will be able to uh, scroll to, the, to that certain ticket, but it it uh, doesn't work uh, yet, so this will be a topic for a different video, I guess. But it's for now, it's enough to see that um, a notification will uh, will be visible here. All right, so now uh, let's um, uh, drag this uh, into the in review list, which will uh, indicate that this ticket will be um, will belong to this moderator. So only this moderator will be responsible for uh, reviewing it. And now if we um, uh, expand it, now this is in preview mode, but if we click on this button, we will expand it and it will uh, take us to the, to the review page of this ticket. And now as a moderator, but also as a user, I can uh, add comments, for example. And by adding comments, we will see um, how a user will receive uh, notifications. So now uh, let's say um, you could choose a better title. Now I've added a comment. Uh, please don't mind this uh, uh, poorly formatted date. Uh, there are many things that are to be improved on this app. Now if I come back to the user perspective, I can see that I've already received a notification. And this is once again due to server sent events because after I have added a comment, I think I can also another one. Uh, I can also add another one here. Uh, yeah, uh, now there are two unread notifications because on each comment a user uh, will, uh, a user or a moderator depending on who's writing a comment will receive a notification. Now if I click on this bell I can see uh, the new uh, notifications. Now, and now if I click on this uh, link here it will take me to the to the review page. Now I can also add comments as a user and the moderator will also receive uh, 
that notification. Maybe a quick um, improvement for the feature will be to not uh, to not um, um, show um, a new number uh, here on, on the bell if the user is already on that um, page that concerns that notification. But anyway, so this is a quick demo. And um, uh, now let's see very quickly um, some source code. I won't uh, spend too much time on that because uh, there is a bit of legacy code and um, I think it would take me uh, way too much to explain um, what's really going on, but I'll try my best to uh, highlight the important parts. So um, here I have two panels. On the left panel there is the front end side and on the right side is on the and on the right side there is the back end uh, part. Uh, let's uh, focus now on the on the front end part. So this component here that shows that lists uh, all of the notifications is nothing else than uh, this uh, notification widget component. And in uh, and uh, in this component, uh, the main part, the gist of this component, is this use effect, which in which um, a new server sent events connection will be established by using the event source class. And what what's also important to notice is that I'm adding a listener for the message um, listen for the message event, which will uh, occur whenever the server will send some data to the client. And um, when whenever this happens, uh, what follows next is to set the proper number of unread notifications. I'm not going to spend too much time on why this logic is here. I admit that it is a bit confusing and maybe it shouldn't be like that. But uh, as I've said, there is some legacy code which will be fixed uh, with time. Um, so yeah, uh, this is basically uh, one very important part. Now. A different one is um, this uh, handle interaction uh, event handler, which will which will be invoked whenever this bell icon is uh, clicked. And based on some conditions, um, these uh, um, all the notifications will be fetched and uh, displayed to the user. Um, I guess this is pretty much it on this. Um, I've used the uh, pop over to uh, component from the blueprint library for uh, d for displaying uh, these notifications. And um, other than that, I don't think there is anything uh, interesting that is worth sharing uh, with regard to this uh, notification feature. Now let's see the backend part. I will start with um, with the uh, endpoint which will uh, allow for the creation of a server sent events uh, uh, connection. And that is right here. Um, as you can see, um, I'm using NestJS for the backend and it provides a very um, useful uh, uh, decorator for using server sent events. And now, and here uh, I'm just specifying the, uh, the path for this uh, endpoint, for this special endpoint. And what uh, what happens next is some um, RSJS magic, um, and essentially what's going on here is that whenever uh, let's also see the ser the client part, it might uh, things a bit more it, it might make things a bit more easier to to understand. So whenever this uh, endpoint is reached, um, this endpoint will return an observable. Uh, which shouldn't make things more confusing than they are already. Uh, but what's important to understand is that, first of all, uh, first and foremost, um, a database call will be made for that user so that all of its uh, unread uh, notifications count will be reached uh, and fetched. Um, so that is the first thing uh, the first thing that will happen and what happens next is that i'm going to create some listeners for certain events that might occur in the app and these listeners are um, or this source of events are dependent on the type of user which can be a regular user or a moderator so this is essentially what these bits of code uh, mean 
and um, basically um, as you can probably see both of these actions will return the same um, type of, of result meaning that it will be an object which contains a data property which is an object which will contain um, an unread count property and this will be used here on the on the client side to set the proper number of unread notifications so the first time when all of the notifications are fetched um, it will uh, return the number of unread notifications and then um, every time um, certain events occur depending on the user uh, that unread count of uh, notifications will be uh, increased by one and here I'm just uh, adding that number over and over um, what's also very um, interesting um, and I guess uh, that would be it for this video after this uh, um, small detail for example this is the endpoint for fetching all of the actual notifications so not the so not the notifications count this part here is responsible for fetching the notifications count but this one here is, is responsible for fetching the actual notifications and uh, as you can see here I'm making a call to fetch all of the notifications and what's also very important to notice is that at the same time I'm using event emitter to um, um, to make sure that um, all of the unread notifications are marked as read and uh, the reason I'm using event emitter and I'm also using event async and not uh, uh, simply emit is that I want this action of marking the notifications as read to happen in the background so essentially uh, this is what is going on here and now let's see let's quickly see what the handler of this uh, looks like so I'm going to search for red and um, as you can see there is a handler for this um, and as you can probably see what's really going on is to mark the notification as red uh, based on uh, uh, some payload uh, in which I provide the ideas of those uh, notifications um, I guess that's uh, pretty much it that's uh, the gist of this video um, I'll try my best to um, find better ways to explain uh, such things um, but until then I will see you in the next video thank you